Well, we've seen her on pit row for some of the biggest events in NASCAR, and that is just a small glimpse at what she does for Fox Sports racing coverage. And now fans are going to see her in the booth full time for the 2021 Arca Menard Series. We are so pleased to be joined today by Fox Sports' Jamie Little. Jamie, thanks so much for joining us. I'm sure you're in high demand right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Yes, it has been a crazy day. I mean, you never know when when a story like this comes out, if it's going to be a big deal to people or not. And it's just been incredible. Yeah, definitely a big couple of days for you. And as Fox Sports just announced, like we said, that you're making history again in your career by being the first woman to call television play by play for a national racing series. So first off, just how exciting of an announcement is that for you? It's so exciting. I mean, a lot of fans that follow racing know that racing is my passion. I found my career because I loved racing so much much and realized that there were no women, no, no fans that looked like me in racing and two wheels and motocross and supercross. And so I said, why can't I be that person? So that's how I found my career and I've stuck to it. Racing has been everything I've ever wanted to do. You know, doing play by play has just kind of been one of those jobs, those roles that I never really saw myself doing. I felt like that's just what the man does. I mean, no offense. I was happy where I was as a pit reporter, but you know, in the last couple of years, Fox had given me an opportunity to be in the booth and fill in for Adam Alexander for a couple of Xfinity races for practices. And I actually loved it more than I thought. And it got my wheels string and I thought this is the, the next step for me. How different is that going to be going from all the high action in the pit to the booth where it's, you know, a little calmer? Well, I'm a high energy person anyway, so I'm probably going to have to keep that in check. But the one thing that I learned about filling in for those practice sessions is I have to take off my reporter hat sometimes. I have to use that knowledge that I will gain because I'm still going to be a reporter in the ARCA series in my head. I'm going to get all the information possible, but I'm going to use that to set up Phil Parsons. He's my analyst. Instead of me telling those stories, I need to set him up on those things. So I think that's going to take some adjustment for me where I'm not just being the reporter in that role. And let's talk a little bit too about the Arca Menard series for maybe some sports fans that aren't as familiar. It's a premier division for American stock cars that kind of serves as a, as a feeder for NASCAR. But what do you think makes the Arca Menard series so exciting? Well, I think like you said, I mean, it's all these young up and coming talented drivers, these young phenoms that come in. I mean, Haley Deegan was in there last year. Chase Briscoe, who's moving up to the Cup Series this year, he was a champion in the series. Um, that is so fun to me. I love seeing where the next, um, you know, Jimmy Johnson or Jeff Gordon is coming from. What sets the ARCA Series as a feeder series apart from, say, stick and ball sports is they get the limelight just like the big boys. We're on FS1 for eight races next year. They're they're going to have so many eyeballs on them. It's such a great opportunity. Yeah, great for those drivers to get the spotlight on them as they're kind of coming up through the series. Well, like most women in sports, I know that you want to be viewed as a motorsports broadcaster, not just, you know, solely a female broadcaster, but your resume is impressive for so many women to look to, so many firsts in your career. I mean, we could the list could go on, but do you ever have time to maybe sit back and kind of reflect on those accomplishments? I don't so much, but I do pinch myself when I look at where I am in my career and the people I get to work alongside. And when you can be the first at anything, it's special. I have a responsibility. I'm opening up maybe some eyes that people never thought was possible. Maybe people will watch the series for the first time. Some ladies or girls will want to check it out and just see what the female announcer is going to sound like and do because they see this story. What would you like to tell yourself 20 years ago when you started your career and started covering racing? Gosh, I would say lead with your passion. And that, that's what I tell girls now because I do get a lot that come up to me, and girls and boys. The one thing that I always say is, I've always had a passion for racing and that's driven me to do everything. But you also have to focus on working. You have to outwork the next person, especially being a female. That's maybe one place that I felt like I was different from the guys that when you're new into a series, you're gonna get looked at harder and more with a critical eye than maybe the guy coming in at the same time. So you have to outwork the next person Person, but once you get the respect from those watching and listening, you're in. You're one of the others, and, and that's what I always wanted. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you coming on CSL, and, you know, congratulations on this milestone, and we cannot wait to hear you from the booth starting in February. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited, and uh, Daytona can't get here fast enough.